In this video, we will have a look at an AI voiced software application called Zonos. Zonos is a text to speech and voice cloning AI app, and it's free and open source. You're able to clone any voice. So you can clone your own voice, for example, by uploading a 10 to 30 second sample of your voice and then give it some text of what you want your voice to say. The application also has the ability to provide emotions for your voice as well. So this could potentially be a very popular voice cloning software for YouTube vloggers for content creators. If you wanted to install Zonos, I've done a separate video on that. So you can install Zonos on your system, providing you have a GPU with six gig of VRAM. And there are different ways of installing Zonos. Some of them are not quite straightforward as they seem. So I've done a separate video on how to install Zonos. So you may want to watch that, which you can access on my channel or the link here. And on the internet at this state in time, there's mixed reviews about this. For some people, it works really well. The voice cloning works really well. And in general, generating different voices works really well. But for others like myself, I've got mixed responses. So, so for example, when I generate voices, there can be silent spaces when I generate my audio and it tends to fall off at the end. So it goes very silent near the end of my sentence. But we'll test this now. I've actually reinstalled the software. So hoping for some better look this time round. But looking at a demo of the GraphQL user interface, First, at the top left, we've got two models. We can specify the models. I've actually only got one at the minute. The previous time I had this software running, it showed both models, transformer and hybrid. For some reason, this time around, it only shows one. The transformer model offers better quality, but at a cost of higher computational resources. So it's resource intensive, whereas the hybrid has a balance between quality and efficiency making it suitable for real-time applications where lower latency and reduced memory usage are critical. So the hybrid model is faster, but sacrifices in quality. So you'd find 99% of people use the transformer model, but both models have been trained on approximately 200,000 hours of speech data. Now on the very right, you can clone your voice. So you can upload your voice here, which we will do very shortly. And in the middle, you can Again, upload your voice as well, and it will continue from this sample. And both of these are optional. But I can only imagine this is going to be quite popular. People uploading their own voice. And on the left is the text to synthesize. It's called text to synthesize. So you put your text in here of what you want your generated voice to say. Then we have the language code. By default, it's on ENUS, so English US. But of course you can change this and it will play the audio in the accent you choose. So for example, China or Scotland, it will play in the Chinese or Scottish accents. Actually, let's do a sample test now. I have generated some audio and everything is at its default. So if we play this. Zonos uses eSpeak for text to phoneme conversion. Which sounds fine for a default. Let's generate the audio again. Now this is what I get every time you generate the audio, it's a bit different. Sonos uses eSpeak for text to phoneme conversion. So you can see the quality and the accent changes. Let's generate that again. Sonos uses eSpeak for text to phoneme conversion. But this might be because of the generation parameters on the right here. I think CFG scale, this is configuration scale and the higher value will lead to more variance in the generated voice where a lower value produces a consistent output. So if you want a consistent output, you would go for the lowest value. So this could be something to do with it, but let's change the language code to England GB Scotland and let's generate the code. Sonos uses I speak for text to phoneme condition. The accent does change. There is a hint of Scottish in there, from my opinion, but it does sound a bit robotic. Let's generate it again. Sonos uses I speak for text to phoneme conversion. Well, I think that was a bit too Scottish. Let's generate that again one more time. Sonos uses I speak for text to, to phoneme conversion. And that's the third time we've done it. That definitely sounds like a poor man's effort to copy the Scottish accent. Maybe there's something missing in my settings here. So if we change this and lower the value, let's generate that again. Zonos juices I speak for text to phone and condition. 
So you can see at the end it started to fall off. Let's generate that one more time. Sonos uses speak for text to phoneme conversion. You can see some silent parts in the middle of the sentence, but that might make it more natural. Let's change that back to its default and change that back to ENUS. Let's generate that again. Sonos uses E speak for text to phoneme conversion. <laughs> that was random because it produced a laugh at the end of this one. We can see there's no ha ha at the end of the sentence. So maybe it's good because it's more natural, especially if the person is happy. We're going to come on to emotions shortly. So moving on to sampling, I mean, you can see the descriptions here and you might want to play with these. I had a brief play with these, but because I'm getting such random output, I was not sure what result changing these would produce. But going back to conditioning parameters over here with F max, it specifies the max frequency of the audio. For best results, I've seen that it says use 22,000 to 24,000, as these correspond to 44.1 and 48 kilohertz audio respectively. So that's why the default is at 24,000. And here you can increase and decrease the pitch. Now I've seen another YouTube video where they increase and decrease it and it works quite consistently well. The default is at 45 seconds which should be a female, but lowering the pitch to let's say three to five should sound male. We can test this. Let's, well, it sounds male at the minute anyway. So let's go right up to 300, which is maximum actually. Let's go to 290 and generate the audio. Sonos uses e-speak for text to phoneme conversion. So it produces a very squeaky output. So let's go to 100 instead and generate that again. Sonos uses eSpeak for text to phoneme conversion. By the way, I'm using a 3060 Ti GPU. So not the most powerful GPU, but it does the job. Let's lower that again and generate the output. Sonos uses eSpeak for text to phoneme conversion. And then the speaking rate is how fast they speak or how slow they speak. Let's increase the speaking rate and generate the audio. Sonos uses eSpeak for text to phoneme conversion. So it has increased the rate. Now let's bring all of these back to default. So you can see the refresh button, which loops around, which means bring it back to default. I'm not going to bother with the sampling settings. I'm not really sure what they do. But then we've got advanced parameters. And the only one is emotion that is ticked by default, but it says checking a box will make the model ignore the corresponding conditioning value and make it unconditional. Practically, this means the given condition feature will be unconstrained and filled in automatically. But what we can also do is if we go to chat GPT and we can ask it to generate some sentences for us to test with different emotions. And here are some suggestions from ChatGPT we can use. But again, going back to this, checking the box will make the model ignore corresponding conditional value and make it unconditional. So I think we need to untick the box to enable the emotions. So the emotions are now effective, which will be definitely the case actually from this statement here. And also because the pitch and the speaking rate was working for us. So these three are related to these here. So now I've unticked emotions, it's fully on happy by default. Let's generate the audio. Sonos uses eSpeak for text to phoneme conversion. So this is how it sounds, not great to be honest. Let's change some of these around. Let's go with sad and decrease happiness and generate the audio again. But actually we was going to use... Sonos uses eSpeak for text to phoneme conversion. But actually, we was going to use the ones generated by ChatGPT. So let's use the first one for sad. And generate this. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. So let's give it another go. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. She kind of sounds sad. There is a bit of emotion in there. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. Not too bad. If I take the sadness away and let's say uh, make it angry instead, let's see what this produces. 
I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. That was quite good. That That's definitely working. Let's generate it again. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. So from my limited experience of TTS applications, text-to-speech, the emotions on this are really good. You've got to bear in mind that emotions have just started to evolve. So how will this sound if... Let's go with fear. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. That was quite good, actually. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. Not too bad. Let's do it one more time. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. So, I think the emotions work really well, considering this is evolving. It's just started. It's just begun. But as a start, and for free, it's a really good piece of software. And it does sound natural. This is the first time I've seen it available to us for free. Prior to this, a lot of the applications were very robotic. So you can see you're going to have to test and tune this to find the one you want in terms of the emotions and everything else. The speaking rate, the pitch, um, the generation parameters, the CFG scale. So it's not randomizing too much. Maybe you want to disable this tick box. I don't know if this makes a difference to keeping the voice exactly the same. Let's try that. There's no randomized seed this time. Let's play that. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. So if I do that again, see if it sounds similar. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. Okay, so that's good. It sounded exactly the same, actually. Let's reduce the fear. Let's increase surprise. And generate audio again. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. Let's generate that again. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. I haven't got a clue what other would do or neutral. Let's remove surprise and let's increase happiness. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. I can't believe it's over. I'm really going to miss this. And another thing at the bottom here, we've got settings so you can change some of the settings. So a dark theme, for example, or you've got the language as well. So you have all these languages. Let's go with a dark theme. That looks a lot better. All the settings stand out a lot better. And for the last one, what we can do is upload my voice. So I've got a sample here. I need the WAV one. So I converted it into a WAV format. It will not accept MP3. So if I click my voice, next we will have a look at how to view all files and directories within a particular commit. And the command to view all files and directories within a commit, we use the command git ls. So I'm going to upload this file. So I've uploaded that. It's one minute long, one minute and five seconds. And I guess I could just generate the audio for it now. So it's generating the audio. Sonos uses eSpeak for text to phoneme conversion. Let's generate that again. Sonos uses eSpeak for text to phoneme conversion. I'm taking the randomization seed off. Maybe change that to ENGB and generate the audio again. See if it makes any difference at all. Sonos uses eSpeak for text to phoneme conversion. Which it doesn't. Advanced parameters here. Sampling is sampling, which we're not going to touch sampling. I'm just having a look at advanced parameters again. So it's at its default. But I don't think it makes any difference anyway. Not with voice sampling, it's just supposed to clone your voice. So no uses he speak for text to phoneme conversion. So for me, the voice cloning does not work well. The voice sampling, cloning my own voice, it creates an accent and it does not sound 100% like me. I do notice a little bit of myself in there. There is a bit of me, but not enough. Unless it's something to do with my voice audio, my voice sample I provided, maybe I need to provide a more clear sample or in another format, I'm not sure. The emotions work well. You can generate some good natural tones, 
but the accents don't work well at least for the ones I tried uh, there may be some good ones I haven't tried many of them and the voice cloning does not work well for me as I said in the beginning of the video some people have got this to work really well where others have had problems with it to finish the video off I'm going to provide a bigger sample of text and then we are going to generate the audio using different languages so let's give that a go hello this is a test of my voice I'm speaking naturally clearly and at a normal pace the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog this sentence contains every letter in the English alphabet now let's try a different tone excited enthusiastic energetic and now a calm relaxed and soothing tone Hello, this is a test of my voice. I'm speaking naturally, sorrowly, and at a normal pass. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This sentence contains every letter in the English alphabet. No, let's try a different tone. Excited, and to just its energetic, and never calm, relaxed, and shouting tone. Javier. Sentin' to is unnaturally, clearly, and at a normal pace. The it's like enthusiastic. Hello, this is a test of my voice. I'm speaking naturally, clearly, and at a normal pace. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The sentence contains every letter in the English alphabet. Now, let's try a different tone. Excited, enthusiastic, energetic. And now, a calm, relaxed, and soothing tone. Hello. This is a test of my voice. I'm speaking naturally, clearly, and at a normal pace. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This sentence contains every letter in the English alphabet. Excited different tone. Excited. Enthusiastic. Energetic. And now a calm, relaxed, and soothing tone. Hello. This is a test of my words. I'm speaking natural, clearly. And a normal pass. The quick brown fox jumps over the last dog. The sentence shantens every letter in the English alphabet. <laughs> now let's try a different tone. Let's do it. And now. And that's it for this video. That's a high level overview of Zonos text to speech and voice cloning AI software.